Greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers, and my dear friends. A warm welcome to all of you from your pastor Yeti. Today, in hearing God's voice, we're going to talk about walking in our kingdom birthright. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellences of Him who has called you out of the darkness into His marvelous light. 1 Peter 2, verse 9. And He has made us to be a kingdom, priests to His God and Father. To Him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Revelation 1 for 6. For all who are being led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. Romans 8 14. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Galatians 5 25. Everyone who is a born-again believer in the Lord Jesus Christ has been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. We are citizens of a new nation, a holy nation. We are priests in this new kingdom, and we have the privilege of ministering to God himself. Whether we are Asian, Russian, Mexican, African, French, Spanish, British, Chinese, Native American, German, Americans, Canadians, or any other nationality by national birth, Europe, and much more. By supernational birth, we are members of the best family, the best bloodline, and the best race on the earth. You and I are God's own possessions, members of a chosen race. Just as we have rights, privileges, and responsibility that comes with our natural citizenship, so do we have the same in the spiritual realm. As citizens of the kingdom of God, we have rights, privileges, and responsibilities concerning the King of kings and Lord of lords. A priest and a prophet. As full citizens and members of this royal priesthood of the Lord, we have the right to request, at any time, a personal audience with the Master of the Universe. We can come boldly before His throne of grace to bring our requests. As priests, we represent our nations, our neighborhoods, our families, and our friends before the throne of the Almighty God. We can cast our cares upon Him. make intercession on behalf of others, or simply come to commune with the lover of our soul. Just as we have the right as kingdom citizens to make our appeals before the king, the king has the right to issue commands, degrees, desires, and others and orders to his people. He is more eager than most people realize to exercise his sovereignty, especially when he speaks from heaven to invade our comfort zone. Although we can misinterpret his intentions, sometimes even the idea that God speaks is too much for us to handle. So yes, God still speaks today and he has the authority to speak to whomever he wants, whenever he wants and however he wants. As citizens of his kingdom, we need to know that he wants to speak to us and that is part of our birthright to be able to hear his voice. Not yet yesterday, but today. The thing is, God's ways are not our ways. Even when we accept that he wants to communicate with us, we have a long-term learning process ahead of us. We have some unlearning as well as some 
new learning too. Baby steps. Before a child runs, he or she walks. Before walking comes toddling, and before toddling, another thing comes. For those who are mothers and fathers, you know how it goes. One child will will walk for faster than the other. Because every child has a different, is different. I mean, and so for us, it's sometimes scary to see how young babies getting up and try to walk or then try to run. Babies don't see this falling business as discouraging. The goal, walking, is way too enticing to let a few troubles be a deterrent. And likewise, no one has a perfect start as he or she learns to kingdom walk. We all learn by trial and error. However, persistence will be rewarded. We f- we will fall. If we are honest with ourselves, we will. But it's the way to get up again. We all must learn lessons of humility, swallow some pride, seek the Lord for strength and wisdom, and move on from past mistakes. The important thing is to keep moving on. Making mistakes is not unpardonable. We all have made them, and we will all will make them in the future. We must learn from our mistakes. We need to turn them over to our master and let him use them for his own glory. We can depend on it. All things do work together for the good of those who keep on loving God in spite of temporary setbacks. It is not always an easy walk or even an easy learning curve. It can be very difficult to find out that we are wrong, especially when we really think we have heard God's voice. Only the Lord's mercy and goodness keep us going. As process I mean, as progress comes by trial and error, it is a relationship with God, not just a set of skills that we are growing in. If we persistently engage the Lord and His will with our whole heart, we will become proficient in not only hearing, but also discerning His voice. This is His desire for us, our birthright, the kingdom walk into which we have been invited. It happens one step at a time. So the truth of all this on our birthright is the truth of the situation is that God is making sure we grow up. Gifts of grace are given in the wet, rainy seasons of life. But the personal character traits we need in order to carry the gifts are forged forged in the testing of the desert times. God knows we need both. By the way, even when we get older in God, those sweet spots in our heart are still there. When He touches one of those areas, we weep, we become a puddle, and we are captured once again. He knows how to reel us into His heart. Our Father God speaks to us at our present level while all the same time always prodding us to move on. 
to grow and to mature. Our Father wants us to reach higher levels to do so. We cannot keep communicating at our family, familiar level. We cannot forever be talking baby talk, so to speak. We must make another shift, go through another time of growth, and take another lesson in his language of love. We must embrace another opportunity to exercise faith in the reality that he is with us, whether we feel his presence or not. He has promised never to leave us or forsake us, and we can take that one to the bank any day of the week. God's loving desire to be in communication with us never ebbs or ceases. We will soon find out that we are the ones we need to change. We are the ones who must lean into his heart to hear his sweet love language. As Paul teaches us, when I was a child, I used to speak as a child, think as a child, reason like a child. When I became a man, I did away with childish things. Speak less and listen more. We cannot leapfrog down the road the fast way. Rather, learning to hear God takes time. Hearing God takes patience too. If we don't realize this, we won't set aside enough time to listen, to seek Him or to inquire of Him. Our Western society does not teach us the art of listening, but the connection is obvious. If we want to hear, we must listen. I recommend speaking a little less and listen a whole lot more. Here is another hint. If we don't make time, he will help us to make time. He knows how to get our attention. And my personal tutor, the Holy Spirit, has taught me many lessons about this. As a mother trains her ear to hear her babe, even when she is asleep, we need to train our ears to hear the slightest whisper from God. It will take time and repetition, but with the help of the Holy Spirit, who really is our private personal tutor, we can learn how to pay attention. We need to make the effort, take the time and set aside portions of our days or nights. He greatly desires to help us and empower us. And hearing God's voice will not happen automatically. If we take time to be with Him, we will hear what the Lord our God is speaking. I guarantee it. It is our destiny. It is our kingdom birthright. So let's walk in our inheritance. For Jesus Christ's sake, pray with me. Father God, I declare that in Christ I am a citizen of another realm. I have a kingdom right, birthright and kingdom privileges. I choose not to despise the day of a small beginning. I choose to walk in the light of of your word and ways. I am ready for more lessons in the school of the Spirit. I want to be a part of a true revelation in the earth. Praise the Lord. Amen. Think about it. Have you ever said, Help, I've fallen and I can't get up? Turn those words into a prayer. Help, Lord, I've fallen, and I need your help to get back up. Earlier in your Christian walk, were you able to hear God's voice more than you do now? How can you respond to his invitation to listen for his words?
Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. May you all have a wonderful weekend. Blessed in everything you touch and speak of. May you be a light where you live. That the light of Christ will shine through you. And that will be having a benefit for those around you. We hear each other on Monday. Okay? This is your Pastor Yadi. I love you guys. Bye.